Hi, Leo. Okay, guys, I'm going to get you a quick reading. Someone actually asked me, um, requested that I do a reading for from your higher self. Okay, so that's what we're going to focus on today. I hope you guys are doing really well. Thank you so much for being here. How funny. Look at this. The revolutionary. So I did a Sag reading this morning prior to starting work, and I did one. I started singing the song, You Say You Want a Revolution. I don't know if you have Sag heavily aspected in your chart or something. I don't know. But maybe you're just embracing that same kind of fire energy at this time. Boundaries. Now, this is almost some of the energy that I was feeling coming into or coming out of your meditation into the reading. Because I actually do feel, Leo, like you have actually, I feel like you are trying to come out of something. I think you feel like something sets you back, to be honest. And it feels to me like something from the past. You're like maybe you reached into the past or you tried something from the past. I almost feel like your confidence got knocked in something. So maybe this revolutionary, maybe you are acting a bit rebellious at this time. Or maybe you're trying to do something new, something revolutionary. Now, why am I talking investments? I, I immediately thought of investments in some way as well, almost like. Now, this could be an investment. Maybe it's a referral to time or an investment of time or maybe energy into something that I, I feel like you've. I almost feel like something unfair happened to me. So I don't know if something actually happened in a situation that perhaps you tried to delve into or make work or something like that. Because I, I keep wanting to go back to the past. Maybe this is just telling me that you, you were hanging on to something there. And now you're taking a whole different approach here. It's almost like you're garnering all, all of your energy again. And look, they're even holding here a wand of fire. How appropriate. So maybe you are moving forward again in some kind of protest. All right, let's see what's going on here for Leo spirit. I just feel like you're trying to get something back. Okay, let's see what this is. Get wild, but it's in reverse. So maybe you're taking a, a, a calmer approach as well at this time. I do feel, I, I'm sorry to keep going back to this, but I'm getting this. I really feel... Something knocked your confidence or didn't turn out the way that you thought it would. I feel a sense of unfairness, almost like maybe someone took something from me that either that I didn't expect or that's taken me a long time to recover from. Something along those lines here. I think you're trying to move forward in, in a more methodical way, you know, taking less chances, trying to maybe think things through. To be honest with you, Leo, now that I'm in your energy so strongly, I feel like I feel like you're not taking too many chances. Let's keep going. And it probably has everything to do with whatever this is. Whatever you've been through or whatever didn't work out right. But look, Spirit is saying, yeah, but you're going to have to connect to your heart here. Because there may be things that are going on or that, or that Spirit is really trying to bring through for you, definitely. That you're going to miss because of this. So if I have kind of this rebellious attitude, which is it's kind of a double-edged sword, I got to be honest, because I feel like you almost need that a little bit. Um, and maybe it's helping you, okay, to navigate whatever these emotions are from, from this that has apparently happened to you. It could also be about an unfairness around a job or I feel like there's something from the past. Though. So it could be a long-term job or maybe an emotional situation as well. So maybe you feel like you need that energy and you very well could to get through some of this. But there is a need here to also reconnect, even to reconnect here with the heart. Maybe this has kept you where you haven't really been focusing on anything like that. But for some reason, I feel like you're missing something because of it. Yeah. And it's time to see your higher perspective. And I feel like this is coming for you. I feel like this is coming for you and maybe it's already there. Maybe it's happening because you are currently connecting to your heart. But for most of you, I feel like there is depth. This is a message for a lot of you guys that it needs to happen. You know what? I With this as well, you may be kind of not wanting to deeply connect with another individual or with people or anything like that just due to whatever has happened here. Perhaps there's some kind of trust issues that have arisen 
due to whatever this situation was that I'm picking up on. But I think help is coming for you. And I don't think, I'm going to go ahead and pull tarot because I don't, I don't feel like it's too far off. I see compassion on the bottom. And I think this is a good message for you as well. It's almost like you have to have compassion for yourself. I feel like mostly. I think all too often we look at things that we go into or that didn't, you know, they didn't work out. So they're a failure. And that sounds terrible, right? What a negative connotation that is on that. And we just have to look at it as experience. Okay, whatever. It may have taken me a little bit longer, but I got it. Okay. And now I know better or I know I, you know, I've gained wisdom from the whole experience and now I'm ready to move forward. I feel like that's what needs to happen here. Let's move. Let's move. Let's move forward together. Here we go. <laughs> Let's see what's happening for you guys. Hmm. For Leo spirit. Yeah, tree. So yeah, there is some kind of higher perspective. I feel like that is actually happening. And so this is all, I, I feel like this is to kind of tear you away again from some kind of past perception of things, something that didn't work out, something that you have had consistent boundaries again, and, and there's nothing wrong with boundaries. Please don't misconstrue the message. Boundaries are very important, but we also want to have healthy boundaries. Okay. A lot of times when we keep the, the bad things out, of course, we keep the love out as well. All right. Um, I feel like a spirit is saying it's time for growth now. Okay. You've been through it. You know, you should have been going through the cycles, you know, especially of what, I, I don't know what this was. It could have been mourning up or something or sadness or anger or what have you. But almost to some of you could have actually been to a state of almost shutting down, just fully focusing on work or getting ahead or something like that, but not on any heart issues. But you need that or you crave that really in a sense. And you may actually have someone around you. There's two dogs in that photo. That makes me think that there could be someone around you that really cares for you as well. This could just be a friend, dogs or companions, right? So it could just be a friend. But I think it's important for you to have those conversations. Yeah, this is kind of deeply rooted in who you are anyway. All right. Um, there's some kind of expansion that's trying to happen in your life here. But it's almost like you got to let it happen in a sense. Let's keep going. I love the tree, actually, because you could be laying down. Some of you could be laying down roots in a different area. But this is really about building something that actually can sustain itself or have some kind of longevity. This could also be about your change because this is a higher perspective. Okay, maybe coming out of this and figuring out, okay, but look how much I've grown as a result of all of this, okay? Getting past the difficult times, getting past that stuck phase, right? And gaining some kind of higher perspective here. There's something that you're wanting, it looks like maybe you could have some kind of blind faith here as well. The dice card is about the fire sign. So it could be involved in a Leo Sagittarius or um, an Aries of some sort. It doesn't have to be, but this is definitely about taking some kind of gamble and being very bold about it too. Oh, that's good. Wow. Okay. Look at this, Leo. I love these for you. I mean, you're a, so there's there's definitely movement ahead, hands down. Anything that was lacking in a sense, I feel like that is coming together. There may be some kind of travel that's coming up for you as well. Whatever you are putting your time into or will be putting your time into, obviously, after you're getting this higher perspective or as you gain this clarity, this higher perspective here. Okay, it's going to require some serious blind faith. Okay, you may already be in this stage. Okay, um, you may feel like it's a gamble as well, but it looks like it's going to be well worth it. You could be rising to in a position as well. I see here with the bear energy that is leadership, that is strength. Okay, which is Leo, right? So I just really feel like I don't think you understand, or maybe you do, but other people are going to begin, begin to see kind of the unique, the uniqueness. <laughs> can talk today the uniqueness okay that is you period yeah there's something very different about you is what i feel i also feel like you could be receiving messages even downloads or something at this particular time or maybe you're actually receiving some kind of news in 
um, about this upgrade in a sense. It's, it could definitely be around work area because I'm definitely seeing a leadership position as well as wealth, finances, increases of some sort. You know what's crazy is I feel like, I feel like you you were feeling, maybe you were kind of clamming up a little bit. It's like I do so much, I work so much, I've given so much and it's not happening, but it is happening. It's absolutely happening, okay? Maybe you've kept the faith, you continue to do what you were doing, but it's absolutely happening. But there's why am I getting connected to the heart? Because there is a component that is missing in whatever you whatever it is that you're doing here. And may again, I feel like because of what was coming out initially, you could have disconnected in that area and just focused on something else. And maybe it was just work, okay? You're about to see some kind of fruits from your labor here, but you are getting connected to the heart. So let me see. Now I did see messages that could be coming in, so maybe that's why it's saying that. Let me get one more card, please. Oh. Okay, we see a bouquet here. So there could definitely be somebody that's trying to come towards you to bring you some kind of answers. I feel like mm -mm, maybe this is about a gift that you have because I see key right behind it. Maybe you are figuring out some kind of gift that you actually have here. There could be some revelation that is coming in for you, some kind of breakthrough in a sense. The answers that you've been looking for, the blind faith that you've been keeping this whole time, it could be coming in. And it could very well feel like a gift that is being given to you from the universe. There's something here about your gifts too for some reason. So, so some of you could definitely have some kind of intuitive gift or something like that. It could also be very much so about manifestation. Maybe you're also recognizing the power that is within you to manifest what you want. I know that I have to step out. I know I have to have blind faith. I know that I may have to gamble, you know, a little bit here. But this is what's creating this expansion for me because I haven't lost focus. And, you know, that's the thing anyway about fixed signs, right? Leo's the fixed signs, all right? They don't give up. So you didn't give up, okay? It looks like in this area. Now it appears to me like you're about to get some rewards and definitely some kind of financial rewards is what it's looking like. I also feel like there's an ebb and flow, right? So I feel like things will be flowing to you a lot easier. I feel like you are acknowledging some kind of, I don't want to call it power because I know people that can sound a bit arrogant, but it is really, it's some kind of um, talent, <laughs> talent you have for manifesting, but also just how powerful you are as a being, right? As a divine being. And you're starting to really get that. You could also be very protective is what I feel over something that you've really been building here. Also, maybe so in this position of power or leadership here that, you know, another pointing back to connect to the heart, because for some reason I keep wanting to focus on that. You're going to need that, right? You're going to need to have a very stable, um, just emotional, emotional connection. I feel like with people, you know, to a certain degree, Especially when it comes to management, right? Because you want to have a level of emotional maturity and you want other people to see that because people just respond to that. And so perhaps that has something to do with it as well. You know, what's interesting is I feel like whatever happened here before, you have remained kind of stable. Get wild is in reverse. You could have been acting very wild before, but it's almost like I need to take a different approach in this so that I can bring this into fruition. I feel like you've changed, Leo. Something about you has actually changed here. And whatever these changes are that you've made, these little tweaks that you've made, I think it's changing things around you as well. I hope you understand how unique you are. That's the biggest thing. Okay, when we see this with the snowflake, obviously there's some complexity there for sure, but it's just very unique. It's someone who's standing in their individuality. So you're standing out from the rest. That's what I'm getting. Okay, let me get some tarot. All right, Spirit, tell me more for Leo, please. Eight of Swords. Yeah, four. You don't even see this coming. Look at this. 
Four of Cups, or Eight of Cups in reverse, Seven of Cups here, <clears throat> Five of Pentacles. You could definitely have Sagittarius aspect in your charts. Let, let me say this to you. All of this frustration, this anxiety that you have felt over whatever all of this is, that is ending for you, okay? I can definitely see where your finances are being recouped in some way. Okay, I can see where your options are actually opening for you to be able to take some chances, maybe to take this risk. Maybe this leadership actually involves some kind of change um, for you as well, is what it looks like. There could be something that you've actually held on to. Like I said, Leos don't really give up. So if this has been in like in a job or relationship or something like that, I don't see that you fully disconnected from it with the Eight of Cups in reverse. I don't see you walking away. I'm just seeing things shifting. Finally, and this is something that has been stuck for a long time, because look at this. We have the Eight of Swords feeling stuck. We have the Four of Cups, which is feeling very unfulfilled in some way. So this is changing. This is changing for you. Let's keep going. Spirit, what else? Yeah, you don't see it coming. <laughs> you don't see it coming. Okay, you don't even see this coming is what I feel. And, you know, i got to be honest with you. I feel like something happened here just coming directly into the reading. The information I was picking up beforehand, I feel like something is happening here. I don't know if you had a relationship bust up or something like that for once in reverse. Maybe you could have lost a job. You could have fallen on hard times, something like that. Um, and it could have blocked you from a long time. That's why Spirit was saying connect to your heart here. You could have definitely felt very, very blocked from like forward movement. Okay, I need to cut off from my heart. I need to just focus. But that could have been really exhausting for you as well. It was. Yeah, it was over an ending. Look at that. It was over an ending that you had not let go of is what I'm feeling. So this leads me to feel like your higher perspective that you have coming up here is going to allow you to finally... Put this kibosh on something that is dead and gone. Okay, it's gone. It's over with. Change your perspective. Connect to your heart so that you can open these doors that are obviously waiting to be open. Yeah, look at this and start to turn the will in your favor, Leo. Wow. Now you can see that you have all good cards here. Okay. This expansion that is coming, though, it does take a boldness on your part, a boldness to connect to your heart, a boldness to take out, to put yourself yourself out there. I believe you've had blind faith, okay, but to put yourself out there a little bit, to take a risk, all right? You may be putting yourself out there as well so that others are seeing you in the snowflake energy, all right? And that may also be what's drawing so much attention to you in this situation and boosting you up in a sense, or perhaps you get into this position of leadership and that's when people really start to go oh my god look at leo you know what i'm saying who knew <laughs> who knew you just really start to stand out i feel like you already have that essence about you though i feel like people already see you so maybe it's just kind of changing that or seeing you in a different light why do i feel like you've been through a lot of drama too i don't know what's been happening in your life but i do feel like you've had your share of naysayers or maybe people around you that maybe wish to create some kind of drama in your life i'm not gonna i'm not gonna delve too much into that that is still in your energy but that is clearly ending and you're changing your perspective okay being in this kind of professional or, or low-key kind of energy, let me just say it that way, and reconnecting to your heart is shifting all of this for you, okay? And it's bringing in this beautiful expansion that you have coming in. If you've been looking for a job or waiting um, to see if maybe, you know, you're going to get, I don't know, a higher position or something along those lines, there's obviously some kind of message or info that is coming in for you. Look at that page of wands energy. You could also have, mm, okay, well, you could also have someone here that is trying to get back into your life in some way. This could be a Gemini energy or just an ex-lover in some way where it didn't work out. Could be someone here who you had a marriage with or that you had a house with at one particular time as well. Let me get some more on this here for Leo. Yeah, whatever this is, it, it's just this drama in your life. 
Okay, so we know that we're walking away from that finally. We're putting an end to that. And maybe that's also why this energy is trying to come back. But we see that this puts you in your head. It brings you a lot of conflict, maybe a lot of headaches. This person definitely looks like they have a lot of headache or they have a headache going on, right? Yeah, yeah. The thing about it is, is you just want to focus on being stable. You want to focus kind of on what you're building here is what I'm getting. Yeah, and new starts. Okay, new starts, creative, fun. All right, being passionate again, celebrating life again. But now you're in a much more stable place to do it. I also feel like you have your emotions more under control lately. Or you will, because this is all what's coming up here pretty recent. So, or pretty soon. So I feel like you're going to have your emotions much more under control. So maybe you didn't before. Maybe you just kind of reacted to passion. But I feel like you will definitely have that. Wow. Okay, so you have a lot going on here. Let me look some more into this real quick because all of this is absolutely beautiful. It appears to be, it could be around love, but it can be around work as well. I don't really see you because you're coming in in such a stable energy, Leo. I don't really see you moving back into this energy it was failed and maybe you're finally seeing it for what it is and seeing it for a headache and just choosing to focus on what this is that is new somebody is going to try and communicate with you though that is something that you need to know but it could be a sag i guess that is sag energy um but i feel like that is kind of your cue I, first of all, I don't even think it's going to get past you. Look at that. I mean, I keep going back to this card because you're seeing it for what it is. Okay. This is failed. It didn't work out before. This is just a headache for me. It just brings me a lot of headaches. And meanwhile, I'm over here finally stable, being recognized. You're definitely in this leadership or boss kind of role. Okay. Where people are looking up to you. So why? You know, why? I think you're going to start to get some of your energy back too, for some reason, as you pull away from this or continue to pull away from this. Because I feel like this also was tying up your energy quite a bit. Yeah, look at this. Yeah, it was. And that's why. Okay, there's just so much about this situation that you don't know that you don't want to know. Is what I feel here. And I think that you know that there's deception around it. And it happened before. It'll happen again. That's why it continues to, to bring you these headaches. Is what it looks like. Yeah, so you're going to stand in your power. That's Leo right there, right? In your strength. And move forward, I feel like, confidently. So, very interesting. So, you've been in this situation. This definitely explains the whole detaching, I feel like, from the heart center. But I love that you have turned the corner here to see a higher perspective and see how maybe this whole situation was very valuable for you. Okay, but with that higher perspective comes the shift in your energy. And because of that, now you can see a lot of expansion that is happening for you. It's almost like, okay, well, you passed the test. Now you can free yourself, okay, from all of this. Let's reconnect to the heart here so that you can feel good, so that you can pull your energy back from... I, I almost said this vampire, so I don't know if this is something that took a lot of your energy, a lot of your time. No, I feel like it took a lot of your energy. It could have been your time, but I feel like a lot of your energy. So this this may have been attached to you this whole time. So you're actually breaking free of some of that is what I feel. Yeah, I honestly, these cards can be better for you. In turn, let me just see what this says. Let me look at this boss energy spirit for Leo. <laughs> All right, Empress. There's that expansion right there. Okay, lots of growth, lots of expansion for you. All right, I think you changing your perception is freeing up a lot of things. And that shows you moving away from troubled waters. And look what's on the bottom, Ace of Pentacles, Six of Wands, recognition. You could have love as well or some kind of partnership here. So we see you. We see this beautiful expansion energy that is coming in under this boss energy, Leo. Okay, you're moving away from these really tough times that I feel like you've been in. You're allowing yourself to grow. You're allowing yourself to invest again. Look at that. Somebody here is planting in soil the seed, okay? All right, into you this time. And maybe that was part of the problem before. Maybe that's also why you held on to so much because I do feel a lot of animosity here and kind of a shutting down and feeling like something was unfair. 
Okay, you're letting go of that. You're seeing it as valuable now. And I'm telling you, this is shifting your energy to the point. And there's that card. I just noticed I put it on the snowflake, the six of wands. This is being noticed. Okay, this is people viewing you and admiring you and respecting you. Okay. So again, that is coming out. Now, this may also be leading to some kind of partnership or happiness for you or some kind of love situation as well that is very valuable for you as well. Wow. Okay. Yeah. All right, Spirit, what else for Leo, please? Slow down and take your time. There's no need to rush everything. You're already doing your part. Trust that what belongs in your life is already making its way towards you in divine time and you can't make it up. It's happening. It's already happening. Okay, and we got a little history on this and you're going to see a return of this history as well. Okay, but remember why you had to leave that behind. Okay, and what that was about and just do it. Okay, whatever it is, it definitely caused some kind of destruction in your life and I feel like some loss as well. So just remember... Okay, we can forgive, but don't forget, okay, you know what happened here. Make sure that you're always using good discernment and, and let it go because look what's coming for you, Leo. All right, you deserve all that. All right, I'll talk to you soon. Bye.